Hey everybody, this is James at Rattlesnake Defense. So, I did a video uh, previously where it was a 365 versus the Hellcat versus the Taurus GX4, and I caught a little heat from that. Uh, I promised a lot of you that I would uh, go back and redo it uh, a little more thoroughly. I've been out here for a couple hours, I've been practicing um, all day. I actually have uh, three guns, those three guns, plus I brought a Shield Plus as an add on. So, I have four targets set out at 15 yards. I have 10 rounds in each magazine here. I'm going to go ahead and shoot all four pistols. And for the record, the SIG 365 is not my everyday carry gun. It's not even the same color. I borrowed this from a co-worker. Thank you, Lee, for that. So I'm going to shoot all these in a row. I've been practicing with each one. And maybe at the end of the video, I'll shoot my personal carry 365 just for um, just for conversation's sake. We'll see if familiarity really makes that much of a difference, you know, if you shoot your gun better than someone else's. So with no further ado, I'm going to get on with this. First, we have the Taurus GX4. It'll be the target on the left. Again, the Taurus, I like the trigger pull, I like the sights, I actually like this gun a lot, especially for the price. We sell the Cerakote model of these for about $350. High capacity. Uh, pretty good group out there, actually. Uh, the first video, these all these guns were pretty much brand new. Now they've been broke in. Everything's out of the same box of Winchester 115 grain full metal jacket. So, just so we're open about everything here. Next, I have a... 365 NRA edition. This is the one I borrowed from a coworker, so this is not the gun that I carry. This will be second to the left. We'll go ahead and do 10 rounds through it and see what that's like. What can I say? The SIG is good. It's one I'm pretty comfortable with. This uh, model I'm familiar with. Trigger pull leaves a little bit to be desired. I feel like SIG's trigger pull is actually kind of clunky. Um, I, I don't know that there's a word for the way it feels. The sights are great. Overall feels really good. Um, I think these are fantastic guns. Next, I have the newcomer. Uh, Shield 9 Plus seriously considering getting me one of these uh let's see how it shoots i haven't actually fired one of these yet i've been firing all these all morning so today's the first day i shot one we'll see Actually, I think the trigger pull leaves a little bit to be desired on this. That's my least favorite part. I love the grip. I love the overall feel. I like that it feels, it kind of handles like a full size. Uh, recoils, just like the rest, you know, it's a little heavy on these little carry guns, but it's not bad. Uh, I don't know if any of you guys know this. I carried a shield for like 10 years before I got my 365 this year. So this is uh, right up my alley. Last but not least, Springfield Hellcat. I saved this for last because this is actually the one I've been shooting the best with all day. So this is your standard Hellcat model. Ten rounds. Let's see.
I threw one of those. I could tell that very last shot's going to be high. That was my fault. So that one's on me. So let's go take a look at what we got. So there's the Taurus. That's kind of like last time, not great. This is the 365. Not terribly impressed. The Smith of Western Shield. Uh, they're all pretty high, but that's a decent group. And the Hellcat. Uh, again, it's kind of all over the place. Uh, I've been shooting these guns all day. I can tell you that carry guns aren't the most accurate pistols. For comparison's sake, I brought a couple of my full sizes. I'm able to shoot a full size pistol a lot better. And maybe that's just me. This is just me shooting this stuff, learning the ropes as I go. But uh, so far, as far as accuracy goes, I'm going to have to give it to the, uh, the Smith today. But I want to shoot my personal 365. We'll see what that does. So bear with me, guys. I'll get some more footage for you shortly. All right. So I promised you guys I'd shoot my personal 365. So let's go 10 rounds through it and see if it uh, makes a difference that it's my 365 or someone else's. So let's give her a go. All you guys criticizing me in the comments might be onto something. I'm a lot better shot with my 365 than the one I borrowed, so maybe there is a bias. And this is why we do these tests, so hopefully everybody's learned something. I've learned something. My, shirt, my gun shoots better than Lee's, so ha ha ha. But your particular carry gun needs to be something you practice with and you're good with. What I think is not that important. I'm just a guy out here shooting guns with his face on the internet. So do your own research, try your own stuff, come to your own conclusions, but you know, still watch the videos. I appreciate it. Okay, everybody, in closing, I've been out here for a couple hours. I've shot all four pistols extensively, five if you count my personal carry gun that I brought um, I think they all do really good I don't want you to take this away as a criticism just because I think one outshoots the other or one's more consistent or one has a better trigger pull that one is the clear winner you know uh, the Taurus probably it's got the trigger going for it it's not the best but it is the cheapest um, the Smith I like a shield guys I, you know everybody could be being biased for the SIG but the fact is I'm more of a Smith & Wesson guy in real life I love the feel of the Hellcat, but you're not going to convince me that gun doesn't kick a little bit. It, it kicks harder than the rest of them. If you had them all out here shooting them end to end, I'm sure you'd agree with me. As far as the, the 365 goes, I mean, you know, that's my carry gun. I'm biased. So make your own decisions. Get them all in your hands. I think all of them are adequate. I didn't have any failures still, even this time. You know, I got some criticism on the first video. It was a little rushed. It was my first one. I'm learning as I do this, so, you know, forgive me, I'm new. But I think all of these guns are great guns. I didn't have a single malfunction, no failures, no nothing broke. So, in closing, please, you know, check these guns out. Whichever one fits you the best is the best for you. I, I'm not here to tell you which one is the best for you. I can only tell you which one's the best for me. So, go to your local gun store. If you've got a range where you can shoot this stuff, go in. Try it out, fire it, see what you think. Don't take my word for it, but I hope I give you somewhere to start. I'm just trying to give you a useful starting point for picking out an everyday carry gun. If you guys have more suggestions of stuff you want me to try out, please hit me up in the comments. I'd be more than happy to answer any of your gun store related questions in a video format. So hit me up. Thank you for watching, and please subscribe and like this video if you enjoyed it. If you didn't, 
like and subscribe anyway. Thank you.